the wedding that they're all going to is until... Oh, the wedding's today. Oops. Uh, well, the disruptor damage is done already. Well, that's good. Yes, my Tetrion damage is done. Midway Stowe! Welcome to chat. Oh, that's good. Killed these guys off here. Yay! Everybody's dead! Hi, Lexers! How are you doing? Okay, let me do some background thingies here. Quick. Okay. That was fun. It's always fun here. Why isn't that working? Let's see if that's working. We need to finish upgrading our ship though. Make it Somebody was in quarantine. I have fixed a quarantine issue there. Let's get back down to the game. Okay, that's part one. That was a problem. Midway Snow says, I love this game. That's because you are a smart person and you have good taste. Oh, Lexers is tipsy. Lexers, what have you been doing? Yeah, that looks like an everyday shoe, Mewson. I'm not crushed with the uh, current event ending tomorrow. Yeah, 19 hours, it says. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's weird. It is weird. Harold and Chips, Mom? Harold Chips? Uh, actually, Mom, uh, there's, there, there's something about this that's weirder than the usual, actually. Um, I have to do go back Harold. five hours, and that is one in the afternoon. Say that again. Uh, the time of day when it's going to be ending is 11 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah. I don't know. I just like that's not when they usually have things in the No, that's yeah, what I'm about trying to remember. Three o'clock in the afternoon, my time. Yeah, it is. No problem, Lexers. Um. So my question is, was there anything that got foobarred with this that they had to delay it a day or anything? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. And come to think of it, well, I guess a red alert starting on Tuesday is right if we're going to end it in time to have Risa. Oh, I'm done with the event. I just like the Dilithium. But honestly, the past two mornings I've gotten up and went, it can wait till I get home tonight. So I have a few to catch up on. And then, then I'm kind of done, except for maybe one tomorrow morning. Yeah, well, I mean, like with the current event, I have actually gotten every single character I have through the, the mission to get the Borg costume. <laughs> as long as you have your priorities straight, we're good. And so, I mean, like, that's the that's uh, a thing that I, I can consider checked off and done. And other than that, you know, um, just do one more daily for the Dilithium and then... Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm doing one more daily for the dilithium probably tonight after I go fix that lamp downstairs. So, Mom, I gotta do 10 Herald ships and then 30 Voth ships. Okay, Voth ships. Voth ships. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I might take a break with the invasion event. What invasion event? Cliff, Ryza starts on Tuesday, Cliff. 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 Ryza! Tuesday! Tuesday for Risa! <laughs> the heck with everything else! I'm gonna kick people here so I can go switch accounts real quick. I have Voth on a different account. We can team up and do the bot together. Oh, wait, uh, you, you're forgetting to do the red alert! No, I'm not. I want to switch to a different tune. Okay, then we can okay. do it. The red alert? Yeah, we're doing red alert too. What's the red alert? It's red alert. I don't know what that is! It's, it, it's red alert. What? I've, I've never done one. How can you never have done a red alert? It's like 30 seconds of shooty shooty. It, it, I don't it's know. It's literally the oldest event uh, uh, in the game. I, yeah. I, I've it, it dates back forever. I've been focusing on leveling. I've never actually taken the time to do the events. Uh, okay. So, the, the this one is actually a fast way to level a ship, too. Yeah, but, yeah, and also a great way to get marks if you need them. Yep. Or your reps. 
It's like yep. uh, you, you spend half an hour just doing those, and uh, you, you can do right about 15 in a half an hour. Like oh, right yeah. Now, right now, Mom, I'm in the process of leveling two other tunes. No, well, this is one of the ways to do it. We will do it with you. And yeah. You see how easy it is, and everything just dies. How often <laughs> do the red alerts show up? What do you mean, how often? Uh, we get one something probably something about. Huh? Or is it something that you have to queue for? I mean, Red I'm, Alerts I'm used on... to be part of You'd... the hourly event system back when we actually had that. But, you know, that was... I, I just don't know how it works. Sorry. But we'll, we'll show you really quick. Oh, yeah. As soon as... Death... There we are. Sent Death an invitation. Um, do we care? Orgatholian? Uh, e either one of those two are good. Okay, everybody is, ready? Uh, is we're, we're going to be... Out We're gonna be in and out so fast. Yeah. I'm as ready as I can be. Let's put it. We that will. Way. We will. We will. This is this is Borg. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's okay. no. Yeah. There's no warm up. There's no speech. There's no nothing. Target just, things uh, and shoot them. Yeah. Just uh, click. Go fast and uh, just go ahead and go pew pew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pew pew away. Yep. <laughs> we have to get four of them done. So there's little pockets of them. Some are two assimilators. Some of them are an assimilator and a couple of little ships, spheres, probes, something like that. And there's one tactical if you are in need of a tactical for anything. Nope. My last two. My last also, two this endeavors. is the, uh, a part of the game that has the um, uh, uh, unbridled joy of... Uh, the uh, disintegration torpedoes. Um, the only uh, endeavors I have left in are the uh, Voth and the Herald ships. Okay, so now we're going to go after the toothbrush holder. And, and of course, like I said, remember, remember that, that it has uh, disintegration torpedoes. Yeah, like it ever lasts that long. Graz is over there. It's going to be dead before I get there. Right. Yeah, uh, Red Alert is five days. It'll end in just as uh, Rise of yeah, Stars. Yeah, I barely gonna... even got there. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Sorry. I barely even got there before he destroyed it. <laughs> I mean... Now, the cool thing is Red Alert doesn't have a cool down. Yeah, so, uh, so right now... Right, right back and do it again. Yeah, right now... Mom, get Q as far a Tholian, or I am going to board. just for the sake of proving a point. Let's go for Tholians. Okay, so Tholians are a little different. We will. We will. Yeah, and uh, and, and usually is like, and, and if we and if we wanted to, as soon as we get done here, Mom could Q us immediately for another one. Yep. No cooldowns. Of all of the all right. red alerts that they've created, um, the Borg one is obviously the oldest. Yeah. It's also the only one that actually has multiple different versions of the event. Yes, it does, and there's an accolade for killing off all the toothbrush holders. Uh, actually, this one as well has it. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Like, this, there's two different named ships on this one, right? Yeah, yeah no, there's, uh, there's two dreadnoughts. One's named, the other isn't. Yeah, but, but yeah. Uh, you, you do need to collect the different named dreadnoughts for a, a separate accolade. Right. But oh. the difference there, though, is that with the uh, Tholian one, the only difference is the name of the named ship. The Borg one, if you pay attention to the map, it actually different has numbers. a different map name for each of the versions yeah. of it. Yeah, so it's like you're going to different like places Arcelia to fight them. Sector or something like yep. that. Yep, yep. Okay, that one's done. Also, yep. um... The different Those are the red alerts. sector names for, for the maps will actually give you slightly different placements for the Borg NPCs. That's actually yeah. what makes them vary, not um, the, um, it's not actually just like a randomization thing. It just chooses one of several layouts. So there are a total of what, five red alerts? Tholian and Borg are the two fastest ones. Zenkethi. My personal favorite is actually the Alachi one. It is good. 
Yeah, actually, I don't mind the Nakul one either, but it does take a little bit longer and it works yeah. better with some teams. And also you have to fight Nakul. Yeah, no. Yeah, so uh, pretty much if you're just wanting in and out to get marks, Dolian or Bork. You're, you're in and out in about two minutes. Mm -hmm. If you yep. if you if you have a really good team, you're 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 in and out in a minute and a half. You can requeue immediately, and I mean, uh, it, now if they grant us a bonus mark week or weekend, you're mm -hmm. getting in, anywhere from like fifty to sixty marks each time. And and if you're needing to do your reps or get rep gear, right now is the best time to do it. Okay, Cliff, this started today. No, we did not have maintenance that I'm aware of. We didn't have maintenance, right? Uh, console had a patch or something, I think. Yeah, but we didn't have anything. Uh, I think Zenkethi on this one, though, does have a fail criteria. Ooh, or at least it used to. I just got a new Romulan weapon. Ooh, what'd you get? From, from my rep. Uh, a Romulan plasma assault minigun. I'm just not a big fan of miniguns. I think they spray the... Yeah, well, it's just Armaments one that I haven't far. collected yet. So. Ah. So, yeah, Cliff, we have this till Ryza on Tuesday, so... I don't know what the giveaway is with this. What is the giveaway with this? Oh, it's um an ultimate upgrade? It's an ultimate upgrade, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah and a specialization point. Oh, is there? I can live with that. You know, for that much work, it's definitely worth it. Stow is, uh, sorry, Midway Stow is playing on PS5. I have not played on PS5. I don't play on any consoles because I don't have a life outside of Star Trek Online. Alright, which one's a good one for Voth? Or... For Voth. Uh, or Voth. Or... Uh, uh, ground this... or space? Uh, it's space because I need the ships. Okay, uh, you guys... Uh, uh, go ahead, sorry. We could do the patrol it in the sword, and that's Voth, isn't it? Aftermath, isn't that uh, Voth? In fact, I know it's Voth. Yep. You go in, you rescue some Borg ships, and you fight off the Voth. That's a patrol? It's a patrol, yes. Easy peasy! How, how many ships do you need? Uh, 30. You'll get at least 27 here. And since we're teamed up... What, what was the name of it again? It's the very first one, if you look under all patrols, it's called Aftermath in the Sordon system. Ah, got it. Okay. So I'm give me one second launch. here. Hang on, hang on. I was going to say I'm ready to launch when you guys are. Well, you may be, but my phone just went off. Okay. All right, I need to do and some more. Are, are we doing it on elite, advanced? If we go elite, you'll get your 30 ships for sure. Yeah, why don't we do Okay, it? everybody want to go elite on this one? Sure. Okay, so elite, aftermath, and a sword and system, and launch whenever you're ready. I'm launching. Yeah, Cliff, they usually do start after maintenance, but I think that's more because... Big just warped on top of me. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go get him. I think that was mom. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just a regular ship. Uh, who's the big uh, one that looks like the Enterprise? It all depends on your version. I'm an Enterprise. Uh, I think I'm in my tank. Yeah. This I think is it was annoying. the command. I, I'm on my Gorn character trying to do the Kobali zone missions for yeah. the, you know usual reason. Stop barking. And I'm in this um, situation where I finished all of the Act 1 well, stuff, there's seven. but it didn't actually give me the thing to do the Act 2 stuff. Uh, Although it looks like I didn't have the Act 1 wrapper mission active when I finished the last of the... Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, guys, hold on a second. Act one story missions. Who's who's uh, playing Relena? That's me. Ah, uh, yeah. What ship is that? It's uh, Terran Lexington, with a ah, different skin. Good. 
Yeah, that that's the one that warped in on top of me. <laughs> I was like, you're welcome, oh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You're welcome. <laughs> It just scared the crap of me, like a giant ship appearing well, on top of me. I mean, Stu's oh. 1701 joke that it had to be his new favorite ship simply because it has a top hat on it. <laughs> oh, no, I died. Well, they are Chris, Bob. I think three of us died at the same time. We did, yeah. We all got Warp Corps breached. <laughs> See, the Bob have reflective shields, so a lot of times you throw damage at them and you get damage back on you. That too. Oh. It's acting like I simply didn't do the act my one son rapper at all on this character. So oh, Unkabali? Yeah, no, that's been an issue. So I guess I'll just do that again. So when we're done here, I am going to have to call it an early night because I do need to go fix that lamp. Because I okay. really don't want that falling down and I don't want to walk into the ladder well. that's holding it up. In, at two in the morning when I go to let the dogs out because I can just see that being a very bad night for me. Can't be into work tomorrow. I broke my foot. And I have had to call into work that way. Can't come to work tonight. Why not? I'm calling in stupid. Calling in stupid. Yeah. If I've... anyone wants to stick around after and help me level a character. You are more than welcome to keep to the channel. I think I'll be on tomorrow night though because I'm Super tired, I can't see a way to go to class when well, I'm this tired. I'm currently and streaming I died myself again. doing Delta Recruit stuff, so... I went you. down again. Huh? You should be... Shield. How are you doing on your... Uh, time. Uh, I'm at 21. Oh. Okay. My well, the question is, do you get you. Uh, ship kills yeah, when you're one. unconscious? When your ship's dead? Well, yes. I got a couple of them. Okay. As long as I got the damage on it before it went down. Yeah, like no, these are te they're shared kills. Doesn't matter if you did it or not, you're gonna get it. But I don't know if you get it when you're unconscious. Uh, well, I, I was I was di dead or dying at the point of okay. some of those, and it's done. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the nice things about shared kills is everybody gets the kill now. So it makes it a little bit easier to have you good game play for you a team when you're not having to fight each other for it. The last endeavor that I need to complete is the heralds well um how many do you need 10. launch midnight rather than doing a whole tfo for 10. oops i died again you know i think it is actually possible to get uh, on top of this kobali shan okay what the hell keeps the happening area on kobali but what? i'm trying to go like i'm trying to get over there and go in full speed and like all of a sudden my ship will stop dead Oh, did uh, you have something kind of like scanning you? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, someone did an impossible device on you. But did you see all the uh, injuries go bye bye? Uh, I did not notice because I died shortly after. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, okay. Did you, uh, did you see the? Uh, your injuries are missing? Uh, Your injuries are missing. I see that they're gone from you. I guess. I don't know. Uh, how interesting. Yeah, you had some uh, injury on you. And it is now healed. Yeah, the, the impossible device pretty, pretty much is kind of like one of the uh, components. But you can use it on another player. Humor boy! Greetings, sir. How are you tonight? Good evening. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? I don't know. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, better. I knew I knew it. I just couldn't put oh, it at the top of my head. What is wrong with me? I can't fly this thing today. Apparently, I can't stay alive. Yeah, but this is my good ship. <laughs> My strike wing escort keeps going down so hardcore. <laughs> so, Tumor Boy, I am doing my happy dance because Rise is coming up and that's my happy time of year. Eggs I am so happy. 
It's a cheap thrill, but I'm going to take it and I'm going to enjoy it. Pirate Scum! Hi, sweetie! We can't stop until Happy the belated birthday. I hope you had a good one. It's the good ship, Polly Pop. Good. Did, did, you did you do anything good? Or better yet, did you do anything not good? Really enjoy yourself? Well, that sucked. That makes it fun, then. Well, the good stuff, if it was fun, good stuff definitely rates higher. I, oh, I'm, that was awesome. I spun I'm going home. I, I am so going home. I can't play this anymore. <laughs> I, I know. They're all over the spawn point. I can't even spawn without immediately losing my frontal shield. Hey, I completed the, uh, the endeavor, so if we leave, at least it's... No, because if we leave, then we'll all be bad people. <laughs> we will kill them. That's all there is to it. It's or just going to take us a few minutes. No, no. There is no try. There is only do. Or do not. Okay, I'm dead again. And once you knock down their shields, they're better. I can't even do that. Not there. Like, I just immediately die. Same here. <laughs> I so, not tumor, a good day. tumor boy, that picture of the railing was driving me crazy. It, it's, I want to go in and fix the picture. It's just like, no, 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 something's wrong with that picture. The perspective just was making me <clears throat> uncomfortable. The railing. It, didn't you post a picture of a railing or a reference to it? Um, uh, that thing, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at it and looking at it and going, just you know, something is wrong here. I, I, the perspective, the the something. It, it probably was actually the angle of the camera, but it's like it kind of disappears into nowhereness, so I'm not quite sure what's the top or the bottom. Thank goodness it was a slow God day at work and I could I get focus a field down and then I immediately go boom. Something definitely is So I don't know Cliff if you saw it, but it was like a wood railing that had a separate area that was tiled with small white tiles. But I can't better explain it. I wish I had the picture with me. Oh, those are done. Please, please, make that the end of it. There's something else here. What have we missed? There it is. We I could go back and look, but... We can't stop until the Vodwar leave us. We've been fighting this war for years. We can't stop until the... No, not all gone yet, Cliff. Almost all gone. Hey, I finally destroyed something. Do we have one more round? Please let that be the end of that one. Talk to the rescue ship. Yay! Oh, We're God. done with that! <laughs> thank God! That hurt. Yeah, of course, um, if it won't let you post, uh, whisper it to me and I'll post it. It should let you post. Oh, it was the Aftermath and the Sword and System. Oh, okay. No. Oh. It's one of those things where I just, like, have this uh, thing in the back of my mind that says, like, ah, yes, Aftermath. The, um... Uh, patrol people don't like for reasons. <laughs> this, this, this railing right here makes me crazy, and I don't know why. Um, Mom, which mission was it you were suggesting? For you? Midnight. Yeah. Midnight. Uh, the first section of it will drop a fair amount of, um, herald... You want herald ships, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll drop and a fair amount of them. part of which episode? It's, it's 
it is an episode in and of itself. Oh, okay. There, so it'll pop up on the list at midnight. Yes, it is in the da, 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 new frontiers. No, future proof. No, is it future proof? Iconian War. Last episode of Iconian War, and there's a very brief scene that you have to do on the ground where you go into the space station, go in, you talk to Kagrin, I think it is, and then you beam out. Now, if you don't have the ability to do a ton of damage, focus on the EMPs and on the gateways, and they're still counting as Herald chips. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like Mom, any, any sort of like summoned pets kind of sort of Oh, is it I got the a first point. fact that the tiles on each panel go in opposite directions? Oh god, if I haven't noticed that already. Uh, that's really... What, what, per, what yes. per point did you get to? Yes, I, I think that's it. That's that's probably why Mom. it's making me a little crazy. Mom. Yes. I'm stuck between two choices. Yes. For my new perk point. Uh, plus one sprinting on the ground. Yes. On plus one percent. Mm -hmm. Or uh, plus four percent hull regeneration speed. Plus hull or regen. Plus four hull regeneration. Yes. Sprint is great, but you're not going to need it until the summer or until the winter event. Hmm. Right. Hull regeneration, you're going to need immediately, so you know, I'd go that way. It makes the winter event uh, a lot more, shall we say, easy <laughs> mode. Um, is um, the uh, Jimmy Dar armor from that, that uh, one story mission? Why? Because passive regen versus snowman is killer. Well, that's true, it is, isn't it? It's Tumor Boy, it's an accolade, not an achievement, so you can add that to your list of accolades. Uh, how do I leave the current party? Well, you can click on the right hand side and go quick kick from team, and now you're off the team! Yay! There we go. Yeah, that railing is just one of those weird railings. But that said, I need to go downstairs and fix the lamp that's falling off of my ceiling while it's still light enough for me to fix the lamp that's falling out of my ceiling so I don't hear kaboom crash splack 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 at some hour of the morning. Or worse, I don't walk into the eight-foot ladder and break something, like my foot, again. Yeah, that makes sense that you should do that. Yeah, yeah. Having done that, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go fix. I don't know what happened. It's a new house and the lights don't work on the ceiling fans. Okay, I can live with that. But in trying to get that fixed, I managed to basically have this hanging from two wires, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, this this is just asking for something bad to happen. So, um, is there anybody out there we should go raid? Uh, I'm who is out there? Still, so. You are streaming? Well, I know who we're going to go raid. Yeah, we should totally raid Mar Hawkman. We absolutely should raid Mar Hawkman. Uh, there we go. Let's go over to that button right there. No, I go don't to think that I have button uh, right there. Mar Hawkman. Hey, Pax, how you doing? I don't even have it up right now, so. <laughs> oh, and he's only got two people watching him, so we're going to go raid Mar Hawkman, everybody. And if you I haven't see. followed him, him. Hey, way, Mom. Yes. Um, Thursday, yeah, I might be. I need to speak to you as soon as you my new memory sticks are coming in, so I'll be upgrading the mem memory in my. You'll be having them installed so that. You're... Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. That'd be so good. Um, I'm upgrading from a eight gigabyte RAM to a uh, thirty-two gigabyte. Well, I probably will be here tomorrow, but I'm not a hundred percent. Sure, I'll be here tomorrow. And I should be here Thursday. It, it, life is chaotic. I'll definitely be here next Tuesday, though. And you should be, too, because we're going to go play Ryza. Uh, All right. You're on Thursday, you said? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Everyone, go give Marhawk some, Mar, Mar Hawkman some love. I'm going to go fix my lamp. Have a great night, even everybody, and take care. You and I'll learn how to speak the language at some point. <laughs> take care, everybody. <laughs> Nah, don't start learning to speak the language. To Overrated. If, if Tumor Boy said the person who, who built the Kobali ground map. I, I, I know he's not the only one who does maps for Stowe. I don't remember if he was the one who did this or not. Hmm. Whoever did this uh, went to a lot of work making a whole bunch of places that you can climb on to. It's ah. the, one of the most fun things 
with any of the ground zones is the sheer number of things you can climb on top of in the Kabali zone. Obviously you can't climb on top of everything, especially the skyscrapers, but the, there's a whole lot of things you can. Oh, well. Some of them take special tools to get to, because, like, you need, like, the, like, teleport lunge devices for some of them, but, eh. There's a lot you're actually, that, like, le le that are legitimately just, like, parkour tricks. And they're, and, like, the, the Kabali City actually has a whole bunch of accolades just for climbing on top of things. Ah, uh, the climbability is accidental. No. See, it's like like this rock here. I love the fact that you can just like uh, uh, climb up on top of the whole thing. Uh, whoever uh, made the uh, our ad assets for these buildings uh, built them in a way that they have climbable ledges on them in some places. Very few places, mind you, so that it's, you know, something that's manageable, so, so you can't just climb on everything. But there's enough of them that, yeah. Well, I mean, presumably Harry Kim's ship is in the Delta Quadrant somewhere near Kobali Prime. Presumably. Ah, well. Uh, I think I was dumb, Mark Hawkman. I think I accidentally went in with the mission set to Elite. And I'm nowhere near capable of handling Let's see. Let's see. Isolate food in bridge officer pockets. There's definitely a, a few spots in here where I'm 99% sure that the ability to get onto that thing was a complete accident. Especially that one in uh, in the uh, second. Uh, it's just like three forward bases you go to, or actually no, I guess this is technically the third forward base, never mind. It's the first one that's an indoor forward base that you go to in the Kabali zone. There's a um, gap in the ceiling that you can use uh, BioEssence Transfer to lunge through the gap in the ceiling and then get on top of the uh, roof of the cave. Um, that one, yeah, I really don't think that's intentional for players to really get up there. Oh, hey, I do have BioEssence transfer on this guy. Cool. Um, uh, you know what? I'll swap that for this one. Okay, there we go. I can warp out of here now. So, uh, now that I've completed the mission. Oh, I have to talk to Captain Kim again. Okay. I've discovered a few. What? You're right. I've been thinking. Yes. Exactly. I mean, you know, uh, there's a variety of explanations they could come up with for why he has a new ship. We're hanging in there.
change character. Now that that's done. It's time to go to... Do I want to work on Acadia right now, or do I want to work on my... Hmm. What do you think, Mark Hawkman? About what? Uh, Acadia, my fed. Or my Klingon commander. About what? Which one I should jump on and finish leveling. They're both uh, low level, still. Which one would, would be the, the, the most fun to uh, fly the... Um, uh, or which one would be the most fun to, to uh, do um, uh, sh uh, ship mastery grind? Uh, both of them, technically. Um, the one that the, my Fed is working on, the Protostar. Mm. And is currently level 30. That's the higher of the two. And is a science officer. And then, of course... My Klingon is a uh, tactical. You know what? I, I think I'm going to jump on my Protostar because I've been trying to get that one up there for a while. I mean, this is actually one of those like things. I guess it's like a classic case of like, yes, you are asking me a question. However, I have no strong opinions either way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, w I wish Mom was still on so I could do some of those red alerts with her. But we're hanging in there. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. Oh, okay, the actual one is such directly to the right, that yellow triangle, okay. You know, one thing occurs to me uh, about uh, Kobali and that it's something that... Hmm, it's me thinking of other games I've played in the past that don't work the same way Star Trek Online does. It's, um, there's two specific games I have a considerable amount of experience with that have wall uh, crawling mechanics. One of them was the old Aliens vs. Predator game, where if you're playing a Xenomorph, you can just literally run straight up the wall. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I wish that the uh, the Protostar had, and that's one more tactical console slot. Mm. Only got two. I want. I wish it had a third. Uh, that reminds me. I gotta go craft a new phaser beam array for it. Oh wait, never mind. It uh, followed them back. Alrighty. Your time is in time. Really hate that Badwar support drugs so do a lot of things. They can actually get to a situation where they're doing that whole whole like reinforce ally shielding thing that makes it their ally functionally invulnerable. Well, when you have multiples of them chained together doing that, I think they can actually get into a uh, uh, re recursive circle with that. But you need like three or four of them.
let's die. The fact that uh, we have like Bob groups on Kabali that spawn as just a, a collection of uh, support drones is kind of weird. It genuinely makes the uh, entire uh, battle zone uh, thing easier than it should be. But at, at, at the same time, it's kind of annoying because that's how you end up with those swarms of support drones. Normally, those are actually just some of pets of the uh, regular Badwarian uh, enemies. This is actually a, a great mission to uh, use uh, Intel bridge officers on because of the fact that the uh, Intel power that creates a holographic decoy is a great way to keep uh, enemies off of you while you're uh, interacting with story prompts. It has this weird AI that seems to make a point of intentionally aggroing things because, you know, its job is as a distraction, so it applies an aggro to, to enemies without actually doing damage to them. achieved, I see. I don't remember what the escalation does in this one. Oh, uh, kill a whole bunch of bad, of bad warp. Yeah, okay, that tracks. This is the supposed main group of Badwar. And it took me uh, over a minute just to get to where they were. Ah, that's.
that's that's why the uh, escalation uh, successfully completed. There actually wasn't a player up. Okay. That's actually the reason why I was here or anything, but what else? Oh, uh, Pax is at the temple. Cool. Well, I'm heading there right now. Your Jim Pedar guy. Oh crap. Uh, regroup bridge officers. Maybe to regroup bridge right now. Alright, on to my mission. I guess. It. Well, Line Map is here. <coughs> her thing. But really, Arsh got KO'd in this, on the other side of the river. Yeah. I didn't get KO'd until I, I got started uh, doing the uh, Temple of the thing. And of course, Pax Federatica's Jim Kadar is using Houdini mines, which is hilarious because you see a group of, of Badwar uh, spawn in and uh, start moving towards you and then explode. The temple. Alright, well, I'm going to the interior so I can force uh, my bridge officer's unconscious body to get relocated to my location. Oh hey, it has a thing that says Ryzen Terraformer uh, Kid Frame. That's the uh, a new one where it does a thing about um, uh, elemental damage bonuses. Oh, it actually specifically says in this uh, thing that it's just the pa uh, past and present summer and winter kit modules. It's not actually using everything that logically makes sense as being elemental damage, just the summer and winter ones? I mean, it's a choice, I suppose, but still. Hmm. Looks like we've made it to the lowest level of the temple. Let's see what's in there. Haha, <laughs> the, the cutscene is showing my bridge officer being conscious. Oh, he actually did get, uh, uh, re Revived as part of the map transfer. Okay, that that actually tricks. Okay. <coughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's okay. He's dead. The bad war shot him. Hmm. I'm kind of curious who this Andorian I'm talking to here in this uh, thumbnail. Or, fly in is because see we don't see any um uh npcs that i'm talking to and uh it's not a, a picture of the uh npc that i was scanning it looked like an andorian woman i don't see any andorians here it's not one of my crew because i don't think Double check that. 
I do vaguely recall that I did actually get an Dorian as a uh, exchange bridge officer, but I don't think I have one on this character. Yeah, I don't have an Andorian bridge officer on this character. Why was I talking to an Andorian? This is what I was saying about how it makes the bad war easier to kill, is that you just hit the group with an AoE, and a lot of the time the support drones don't actually have shielding unless something buffs them to add a shield, so then they just, like, fall over dead. Mm -hmm. I love my cute little protostar. It's... kind of overpowered. Yeah, they... The um, support drones just aren't as uh, tough as, uh, well, okay, I guess maybe you, you could uh, make an argument for them being approximately as tough as ensign level uh, enemies, but, you know, only ensign level enemies. Although I think they're actually replacing ensign level enemies with, uh, when, uh, when you see them spawning like that. So... Thank you. Take Oh, hey, I finally uh, completed the uh, easy one for healing. That's a lot of stasis pods. Okay, move this down. Let's, Let's get a scan these. of these. We need to know more. Oh, hey, I now have two of the uh, Kobali split beam thingy because I had to do the Act 1 wrapper mission twice. Eh, whatever. The Kobali split beam rifle looks cool, and... Yeah, that's about the main reason to use it. Looks like Doll was works. telling the truth. The Kabali are holding thousands of Vodwar stasis pods. Given the Vodwar... Uh, is basically the same as a regular split beam rifle, so it's nothing special in that regard. Then again, it looks neat. You both the one that I like that General, looks really cool, Marhawkman, is when the Chronoton rifle. Mm, which one? Secrecy. Um, I have the, uh, the full auto one, and it's like, it fires How rainbow shot. You won't oh, even tell well, us what the problem is. But this is actually a thing that they did for like all of the chronoton beams. Captain. Yeah, I know. That that's yeah. why I like it though, is because of the late. rainbow beam. Hmm. The Kazon delayed me. What's the situation? Yeah, because uh, there is actually one of those that's a, a story mode uh chronoton one that's supposedly a uh I see. Captain um, Kim, no matter our Krenim personal technology feelings, weapon. we must follow the Prime Director. Mm. We are not here to Which change the Kabali culture. Has a unique, we are here to uh, protect rifle them. model different from what you have for we'll any talk of more the, about this in private. Um, I'm sure we'll see you again ones. soon. Because one of the mm. reputations actually gives you uh, chroniton themed anti-proton weapons, which are actually kind of like rainbow beams uh, by default. That one uh, 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 Krenim Tech rifle isn't actually anti-proton. I think it's like Tetrion, uh, but it's Croniton uh, themed. Uh, we, before we begin, data I must apologize. We can't stop so until the Bodwar. Sort of Let's see if I, can, I, I have it on any of my bridge officers. Stuff like that I often give to bridge officers to hold on to it because I don't want to... They're having them. trouble destroying my shields. Oh, really? In my protostar. <laughs> I mean, well, see, that's actually a, a thing with a, a lot of the science vessels in the game is that a lot of the science vessels in the game actually have a 1.3 shield multiplier. Oh, yeah, here. Mm. Temporal Defense Chronoton Rifle. 
Yeah, uh, it does anti-proton damage, but the beam on it uh, is uh, multicolored, kind of like a... It's not actually like a proper rainbow. It's more like a um, a, a multi-phase uh, distortion like you would get when you like split a... a uh, something that's not white light with a prism and it comes out like a, a bunch of weird garbled colors. Uh, mm. I'm not sure exactly the right way to explain it. Kind it's weird. Like, that's all you gotta say. It, it's kind <laughs> of like a, a, a rainbow, but it's not, you know, smooth. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that's an analogy. It's, it's like a rainbow after you ran it through a blender. Okay. <laughs> Okay, episodes. Uh, which one was it? It's probably one that this character hasn't done yet, because this character needs to do most of the... Uh, oh, wait, right, right, right. It's an Iconian War mission. I think. We have a lead on the Krimin. Voyager went to Krimin space looking yeah, yeah. for them a uh, few Kronaton months ago. Yeah, yeah, split beam right. But oh, no, it is actually anti-proton damage. Some anomalous sensor but it has an but interesting now, proc, which is chronoton radiation, what he which kind of works like a you stun beam, honestly, except it's a 5% chance of proc. These artifacts. It's like stun beams have that thing where they like half right freeze you in the place. And the Vardwa have gone to Anyways, a great deal of to keep what I actually already did that. It's marked as a replay, so I don't know where the, uh, um, I... Actual rifle went. Might be in the bottom of my inventory somewhere. Uh, unless I'm missing it, I don't see it. I don't know, maybe it's my bank. So I checked on all of my bridge officers, and I'm not using it on my character right now, so it's somewhere. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, someone is doing the at our backs thing. That's fun. What is that a feed or something? Oh no, uh defense at the gates is the proper name for it, but it uh, pops up uh, a um, uh, a red alert text thing uh, in ch chat when someone starts it. Back to talking to Hanson to time again. We're hanging in there, but we could use your help. Yes, thank you for coming. How lovely. I get to go to the Briar Patch. I have to say, that was actually a rather interesting uh, change of pace when it when that was something new into the game. The Briar Patch? Yeah, because it's a uh, <laughs> map where you kind of sort of want to avoid things rather than just, uh, uh, just setting your ship to fire at will and then just literally shooting everything. Because of the, the plasma, or whatever you call it, the... Uh... Uh, Metrion gas. Yeah, that's what it was, the Metrion gas. But I kind of like firing at the Metrion. <laughs> Because it, there are ships flying in the Metreon gas that, you, that are enemies, and you can just destroy them by shooting the gas. 
Uh, I mean, it is kind of amusing. Yeah. And you get an acolyte for it called Charged Channel. I'm not sure if you knew that one. I'm sure I've heard of that acolyte before. Uh... Uh, give me a sec, I can stop. Well, see, uh, another thing with that one is that uh, this is one of the, those uh, missions that has accolades that are tied into the uh, interior customization stuff for the uh, bridge uh, trophies. <laughs> so, charge channel is the 25,000 plasma damage to your ship. Apparently. Okay. Oh! Uh, uh, so do the uh, gas pockets do plasma damage to your ship? Yeah. When when they explode. So it's a good way to get that one. Wow, silly bad work. Uh, just like got moved into a closer grouping so that I could uh, hit all of them with an endothermic induction pulse. Really? Klingons are attacking me inside the Metreon clouds. Bad idea. This is actually one of those things that's amusing, is that the, the Klingons seemingly don't have the ability to intentionally detrimate them. Yeah, that's weird. But you can. <laughs> oh, if, if you want to see, see something hilarious, do a plasma torpedo build. <laughs> oh, that gets weird. Uh, that's a later ship design that I am going to be. Well, so right now, the, like how, the way plasma torpedoes interact with the, the uh, metron gas is strange because of the fact that it's um can light them on fire and cause them to explode. However. It will not do so by flying through one of them. It will only do it by impacting a, a target. Now this is an interesting spot because there is a teleporter here that is broken because the Vadwar uh, overran the base. But... Nothing we do in, in the uh, Kovali Zone story actually lets us repair this transporter. And this is one of the locations that would actually be most useful to have a transporter because nothing else is on this side of the map. <laughs> it's just far enough from the city that you actually kind of sort of want to have a transporter to get to it. That's also funny, is forming the uh, tear inside of here. It's kind of funny. Uh, which tear? There's several of them. The uh, te Techion Rift. Uh. Inside the Metreon Clouds. <laughs> that, something tells me that that should not be the right thing to do. <laughs> four of the six bo boxes of Kavali uh, data that I need. This one's annoying because sometimes the little, like, glowing indicator that tells you which boxes are available to be scanned and which aren't doesn't show up properly. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Steal the Vadwar computer system. Whoever designed these Vadwar uh, console things, oh, that is some good work. Because it's something that genuinely looks like a portable workstation. Like something that you, that, you know, you um, uh, close the uh, lid on it, uh, 
and um, uh, put it on a hover sled and haul it off. And, you know, wherever you haul it off to, you can just, like, open the box and uh, resume working on it. Good design. Okay, now I need to get to the forward camp with Hatch on Saddle Arm. Seriously, guys, what are you still bothering? Oh, there's one hiding behind that cloud pillar over here. He done yet? Okay, so that actually increases the number of uh, Kobali campsites on the map, then. Okay, here's one that we actually use, where we talk to uh, Jatanian uh, for the uh, quest uh, in this area. This is technically a Kobali uh, campsite, but we never do anything here. The only thing we do there is we use a transporter to beam back to the city despite the fact that Jatanian's closer to the city than the, the transporter whatever um, the trenches area it has the temple in it but none of the bases unless you count that destroyed base as part of the trenches area but I think the destroyed base is actually this here in the eastern outskirts yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the location that was in. Let's see here. Then we have Saddler's base here, which... Um, hmm, I guess I would call that base number four. Not that, you know, I'm not I'm sure exactly how to properly count these things, but we'll call that number four for now. Then after you go through the mountain pass area and the forest area, uh, you get to base five, which is the one I was talking about earlier, but it has a gap in the ceiling that you can use bioessence transfer to jump through. Then you can just like walk around on top of the uh, hill. And then there's uh, one more over by the summit. So I guess that makes six Kobali bases. And then there's the Kobali Temple, which is uh, kind of like a seventh base in the area. <laughs> oh boy. They did pack a lot of stuff to do in on this map. Did they ever fix the Kobali missions? You have to be more specific. <laughs> um, I was trying to complete it on my Gamma Ring, and it kept oh, glitching you, saying that I didn't finish something our lost base? and I couldn't figure out what it was. Mm. Oh. Again, 